Simon, give us a sense of what the mood in the Australian camp is likely to be, not just now, yeah. but when they play the next game, when they play in the semi-finals, because this win has meant that they will play South Africa surely in that semi-final. <laughs> South Africa will be worried. Do the yeah, last should. South Africa won this for Australia to scrape oh, into a semi-final against them. 100%. <laughs> Look, when you win games that you should never ever win, or, or you, you, you feel like you're never in that game, for 80% of that game, 70% of that game, Australia weren't in it. They, they would have felt like they were not even in the contest. So when you win games like that for your team, you, you look at the dressing room, look at the reaction of the players, the coaches, everyone in the dugout after Maxwell hit that last ball. You've only got to look at that to realise what it does for a team, what it does for team morale, uh, for the spirit, for the belief in the fact that you can win from anywhere. All of those things come to play and they will be feeling, I mean, they'll have massive high tonight and they'll be feeling it tomorrow and they will just carry that through to the next game because you just can't underestimate winning from no-win situations. It, and yeah. I don't know what the win predictor was at, but I, I guarantee you it was probably as, tell you what, it was probably in single figures. At was some 82, stage. It was 82-18 yeah. when 70 or 75 runs were needed. 82 Afghanistan. Yeah. When so imagine what runs I, I guarantee it was in single figures yeah. at some stage, which tells you how many teams have won. And the win predictor is based on all of the history of, of one day international cricket. Tells you how many teams have won from that position chasing that score. So it's yeah, a yeah. very improbable thing. You know, when we were kids, we were told it's never over till the last ball is bowled. When we're learning how to play cricket, whatever little we played, it's never over till the last ball is bowled. And I hope a lot of kids watching this who are yeah. playing cricket are told today, it's never over till the last ball is bowled. It's only over when you think you cannot win. Mm. That is when matches get over. Yeah. It's never over till the last ball is bowled if you believe you can still win. And I hope there's a strong message going out. That's what sport teaches you in every aspect of life, but sport teaches it more dramatically that it's never over till it's over. Well, there was Michael Bevan and now there's Glenn Maxwell. It's never over for as long as uh, Glenn Maxwell is there. Has the normalcy button been pressed by Australia? Five-time world champions, are they back to their best? I mean, after this, if this cannot lift them up, what will? I don't think they're bowling very well yet, let's be honest. I don't think they're bowling very well. They don't have a McGrath, they don't have a Vaughan. I mean, Nobody ever has a McGrath one. Australia only ever had them once. So they're not still, from that point of view, I think, playing at their best. They've got hundreds from Warner. They've got a hundred from Head. Yeah. They've got a hundred and a double hundred now from, from Maxwell. And they've got contributions down the line. Labushen's got a 70 and, mm. and odd runs in between. They've got runs. So from the batting side, I don't think they have anything to worry about. But I'm still not convinced about the bowling. Mm. Well, I mean, Even today, Stark was, what, 9 over 70? Yeah, and, and you, th you think that Afghanistan were able to get 291. Now, that's not demeaning Afghanistan. They played well, but they didn't really push the envelope until yeah. the last six, seven overs. Yep. I think yep. it's 70 odd off the last six overs, I think it was. So they didn't exactly push the envelope or go too hard, and they still managed to get 291 mm -hmm. against them. So that tells you that the Australian bowling attack is not absolutely at its best mm -hmm. uh, at this point in time. There's a few worries about some of that middle order. Um, Stoinis is probably a little yeah. bit of a worry. Stoinis' record in the last... I, I'm very surprised how he keeps his place in that side. I, I know they've got a big rap on Green, and I know Green hasn't done a huge amount as yet, but Stoinis' record in the last three years is atrocious. It, it really is poor, with the ball and with the bat. He averages something like 16 in, in, in ODI cricket, and with the ball over 40. Yeah. yeah. So it, it's, it's not a good record. So that's one area of concern, that middle order, you know, if Steve Smith's sort of vertigo continues, that might be an area of concern for them. But the thing about Australia is they just find a way to win. Yeah. And they know how to win tournaments. You don't always play at your best when you win. You just find a way to win. And, and that's, that's what this yeah. team is doing. Knowing Australia, they won't brush this under the carpet. They will take a hard look at what went wrong as yeah. well. Yeah. They will look at their bowling and say, should we have allowed Afghanistan to get to 291? But I don't think they'll be thinking about that either today or tomorrow. Maybe tomorrow mm. evening. Today they will prevail and party and say, you know what, we are very good because you've got to reassure yourself that you're very good too. And today they will be all about positives and revelry because you have to create moments as a team that you remember.